Hello and welcome to First Coast Living. I'm Jordan Wilkerson. It may not be Taco Tuesday, but any day is a good day for the delicious dish. Mike is standing by in the kitchen with some meal inspiration that is both simple and tasty. Most of us are big fans of going out for Taco Tuesday, but what if you get caught up in life's busy carousel? You know, get too busy, but no worries. Here to help us whip up some easy to make tacos at home and a refreshing drink is the general manager of Cantina Louie on Longleaf Pine Parkway in St. John's. We're talking about Victoria Mendoza. Welcome to First Coast Living. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Uh, your new place, very exciting. Uh, you just opened here in the last year and it, how's, how's it? How's that location doing? It's really, really good. Thanks God. Um, mm -hmm. We just opened like eight months ago. So uh, we're located at Aberdeen, St. John's. Um, so I'm really, really excited. So it is really, really good. Um, yeah. Then what I can say, I'm just really, really happy. Right, it's like a, neighbor, it's a neighborhood uh, hangout. And I have to admit, I, I do enjoy going there and, <laughs> and I know. having some of your great food. Um, we're here to make tacos here, to easy to make tacos at home if, in yes. case we can't get out, right? Because yeah, we're in, so course. busy. Yeah. So it smells incredible, just like your restaurant. Where do we begin <laughs> when we make it? So um, the first thing that you really usually have to do, mm -hmm. it's like heated up some of the tortillas that we have right okay. here. We're going to show you Very like easy. the ingredients that we have for mm -hmm. the tacos. These ones that we're making today is the street taco basket. That's one of our popular like, tacos oh, yeah. that we have. It's steak tacos, Mexican style, mm -hmm. just with your uh, cilantro, onions. We have some limes, okay. pastor salsa that we make at our, the restaurant too. It's so you home. can actually yeah, take the salsa and you can use that salsa yeah. in there to give it a yeah, little bit of extra course. kick. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So very simple ingredients. Yes. And that steak looks extra good. How did you make this steak? Yes. Is that we marinate it. That's our um, oh. marinated steak grill. Okay. It's a little bit secret that we have, but. <laughs> okay, cool. So, so what's the first thing we do? I've so we just, in Should this I, case, yes. we can just take uh, this tray. We can put some um, mm -hmm. tortillas on here. Gotcha. Do you want to help me with that? I would love to. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so we can take some of these ones. Okay, take this out. Yeah. So we can put it over okay. here, the other one too. We'll do two for a start. Yeah, yeah to start with, yeah. Okay. Of course, then, af then after that, mm -hmm. we just can take some of the steak over here. Easy does Real it. Real steak. It looks wonderful, mm, right? It does. I know, and it smells and so really, good. We were heating this up before the show. This only took like 10 minutes to put together. Yeah. We had all, everything organized, so yeah. that's what most families need. We, they, my kids, you know, when they get hangry, it cannot get ugly. <laughs> right. So this does the trick. And then you have your onions and cilantro. Yes, okay. so we put some onions on it. Uh -huh. Like depends on how you want it. If you really want to put like a lot of them, but like this, I well, think yeah, it's fine. Well, I'm an onion eater. I think my wife not so much. Right. So just a little for Julie. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So just like this. Okay. Then you take the cilantro. Mm -hmm. You put it on. It's kind of like it's Mexican style, really. Right. So. And that's what you're specializing. Your yes. Restaurant. Mm -hmm. okay. Exactly. There then you, you can put some like limes over here. Mm -hmm. Give it a little extra. Yes. Yes. Course. The presentation's beautiful presentation, as well. Yeah, that right. Smell, so you're really going to impress uh, the right. family here. Yeah. We take some radish and we Ooh. put it over here too. Uh huh. And then. And we're set. Yes. You can do it like this. You set up with the pastor salsa. Well, Victoria, and you're awesome. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you make <laughs> it look you. so easy. And I it think is kind of easy. There's only one thing I can think of that would go well with this. How about a nice drink? Oh my a God. Refreshing yes. drink. What do you yes. think? Yes, I can help you with that. Okay. So now, right here, we have. Or um, spicy watermelon margarita. It's Whoa, one of our famous here, gonna, right now. Uh -huh. Yeah. So what I can do in this case, mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you right here how we can make it. So first, we usually do this one with the tahini on the rim. You can do it with salt. You can do it with sugar. Okay. Whatever you want it. That looks incredible. Yes. Right. So mm -hmm. what I'm gonna we'll do is I'm gonna shake a little. Yep. So this is the tequila that we usually usually. Mm -hmm. Use for the spicy watermelon. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful job. Right. Okay. And then that is that one of your more popular drinks? Yes. So it's spicy well, it's spicy kind of a watermelon. yeah, it's a spicy but sweet. Uh -huh. It's really, really good. So um, we put some agave on it. Mm -hmm. And now the, use some our, the little agave goes in there. And now yeah. that our weather's heating up, this will be perfect. Mm -hmm. Cool down with a little right. watermelon. It's refreshing too, yes. but it's kind of, you know, sweet at the same mm -hmm. time. We put some lime juice on it. Okay. So again, not too bad. I'm keeping no. up with you. I can do this. Right. Of course All you right. can do it. Everybody yeah. can do it. <laughs> right? Then we just shake, shake, shake. Oh, we have to put some. We take okay. it, take it. All right, you didn't work out in. <laughs> <laughs> you did your work out there. Then uh -huh. I'm gonna put mm -hmm. And there it is. The some, yeah, right. 
Okay. Just pour the watermelon juice. Yeah. Chicken again. Okay. Okay. So make sure everything <laughs> is good. I'm gonna just more. finishing it right here. And again, just like, oh wow, that's amazing. Just like then the, the last so time, the last thing, you put the dry lime over there. It's perfect. Voila, you did it <laughs> again. Making it look so easy, and Thank again, you. just something easy to make at home. Yes. And Really appreciate you. And this is, you're, of course, the owner of Cantina Louie. Uh, and how many other locations around town? We Florida? have in Florida 10 locations, and then we have two more on North Carolina. Very good. Yes. And I can tell you love what you do. Of course, I love it. And you I like enjoy it. every day. <laughs> Very good. Well, thank you for being on First Coast Living. Thank and you. I think uh, we course. can do a, a toast here yeah. to you. Okay. And then we got the taco here. I'll save some for Jordan. Okay, yeah, so here, of course. But I'll take a <laughs> quick sip here. We're going to share this on our website, so make sure you check it out for the delish. And that's firstcoastliving.net. Mmm. Oh, yes. Good. Thank you, Victoria. <laughs>